you stand and sing when you're in prison because I know that tonight is my last night in the prison. How can you stand and sing when you got prison bars of facing you? Because I know, because I know, because I know when you really know that you really know that God is God and he's watching you. He said his eyes on the spare and how much more valuable are the children of God. Somebody give Jesus a hand clap. I know that he's watching. I said, I know that he's watching. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ. Somebody lift your hands and thank him. He is worshiping. He is. Yes.
somebody give Jesus a hand clap. He is God and besides him there is none. You may be seated, just don't get set too long because it's been requested for her to sing Lighthouse. Aren't you glad that Jesus is our Lighthouse? I said, aren't you glad that Jesus is your Lighthouse? When you was in the harbor of the sea and you didn't know how to get in, you didn't know how to get into the harbor. You just know you was in a storm. You just know the storm was overtaking you. Thank God there was a lighthouse and Jesus is our lighthouse. Give Jesus a hand clap. house some of you're sitting here right now if it hadn't been not for Jesus Christ when you was in that hospital room some of you were going in for surgery some of you were laying in the emergency room some of you was at midnight hour if it had not been for Jesus Christ shining in the healing light into that room this morning there was a testimony one of the sisters had been total death for several weeks in her ear she had plans to go to the doctor tomorrow but she said this morning sitting in the service this morning the light of Jesus Christ began to shine in and she left the church saying I can hear for the first time 
time I could hear in several weeks, I thank God for the lighthouse. I thank God that God is still healing it. God is still delivering. I just thank God that God is still God and God changes not it. What he done for others, he's got to do for me and you. Give Jesus a hand clap for his goodness and his mercy. If it had not been for the lighthouse, where would me and you be? Some of you went to school with people that's already, that's already in the grave. Some of them is in prison and some of them are hooked on drugs and alcohol. But where are me and you when we lay our head down at nighttime? We have a sweet sleep. We get up in the morning time. We don't take any pills to get us going. Why? Because we turn our life over to Jesus Christ. In the midst of the storm, he shined, he shined out a light and we follow the light and he said, as long as you abide in me, for I am the light of the world you won't have fellowship with the darkness and the oh, I'm here to tell you God is shining out a light and I believe that tonight that God is going to do something I want all of you to stand to your feet one more time and I want you to lift up your holy hands and begin to praise God begin to glorify God God you're so good with your mercy Lord you're so good with your grace Lord we thank you for the lighthouse we thank you Jesus that you were the light that was on the hill that could not be here Lord that could not be here Lord Jesus you went to Calvary and hung on the cross and that was the light that shined around the world that me and everyone here can find help in the present time of need Lord we thank you because you are that lighthouse we thank you somebody lift your hands up you're not thanking him how good he's been to you some of you you supposed to have been already dead some of you your death warrants already been signed some of you the devil done told you the bad but the bad's been change there's a new story give Jesus a hand clap of praise yes yes
this is what I come to do. Touch the hem 
of his garment that fell round him there. My heart, my life I gave, my soul was in his care. Then I awoke, my heart beat slow, for in the night I saw a glow. This was no dream, he came my way, and again I Savior say He said if I be lifted up I'll draw all men to me He turned and then I saw the nail scarred hands that bled for me I touched the hem of his garment that fell round him there my heart my life i give my soul was in his care you know i just like to say uh you know you can see jesus in so many things you can see the lord in so many things you can see him where you don't where he's not really there or where he is there in everything i told my husband last night we was parked out from a place where they had a... And you shall receive a reward tonight, 100 fold pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And you will know that I'm the Lord your God that healeth thee, and I put none of the afflictions upon you that I put upon the Egyptians, but I bring you out with silver and gold, and there shall not be one feeble one among your tribes. This night saith the Lord your God, from the front to the rear of this sanctuary, my power and my anointing is going to sweep this sanctuary in such a way you're going to know that I am the Lord that healeth thee. And if you look up and don't look down and not go by feelings nor sight, but by faith, thou leave this church delivered tonight. I am God. Don't doubt me. I am still God. Stand to your feet tonight. While she sings something. Tap your hands and sing it. Of my head, I hear music. Of my head, I hear music. Of my head, I hear music. Oh, there must be a God somewhere. I hear music of my head. I hear music of my head. Oh, I hear music. Oh, there must be a God somewhere of my head. I hear rejoicing of my head. I hear rejoicing of You're my head. You're not singing tonight. Come on. I hear rejoicing. Oh, there must be, be a, a God, God somewhere, somewhere of my head. Sing it tonight, saints. Of my head, I hear music. Of my head, I hear music. Oh, there must be a God somewhere. Leap for joy. Leap for joy. I hear shouting. Of my head, I hear shouting. Of my head, I hear shouting. Oh, there must be a God somewhere. Raise your hands and praise God tonight, Heavenly Father. Walk the aisle where the seam is open only with power in this place tonight in the name of Jesus. Shake hands with about a half a dozen. Tell them tonight's my night. Tonight's my night. Praise the Lord. I want to preach a few minutes and then minister to some of the folks. How many will raise your hand and say Wednesday night in that healing delivered service. I'm going to do my best to be here Wednesday night and get my miracles. Let me see every person that's planning on being in the church Wednesday night in that service. Brother, 
Give the devil a black eye. Every person planning on being here, stand up. Stand up. That's a Doctors have turned them away, sent them home, maybe to die. But God reached down through his mercy and healed them. You know, mercy, M-E-R-C-Y, has five letters in that word. So does P-O-W-E-R have five letters. And F-A-I-T-H has five letters. And J-E-S-U-S -S has five letters. So if you got power and got faith, he's got mercy, and Jesus will heal you tonight. Clap your hands. I feel the victory. Praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. Now, just a few minutes on something here tonight in the 34th chapter of the book of uh, Deuteronomy. Turn with me until about the fifth verse of Moses, servant of the Lord, died in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in the valley of the land of Moab over against said Bethlehem. But no man knoweth of his scepter until this day, but Moses was 120 years old. When he died, and his eyesight was not dim, and his natural force abated, and the children of Israel wept before the plains of Moab 30 days so that the weeping of the morning of Moses was ended. Now here's where we come in. Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit and wisdom, and Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. And there arose a prophet. They listened, and then there arose not a prophet since Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face in all the signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt and Pharaoh to all his servants and to all the land. said, and in all the mighty hand and the great uh, terror which Moses showed in the sight of Israel. Since that time, there's not been another one as great as our prophet Moses. God raised him up from the baby's call from his mother's womb and come down the Nile River and the bull rushing, God picked him out, set him up, got him going. But Moses had a lot of troubles in his ministry, but he was full of the spirit of wisdom and he was the meekest man that ever lived. There's never been another meeker man than Moses. Now meekness, eat up just a little brother, meekness is not weakness. How many believe this tonight? Weakness, meekness is not weakness, but God's power is just as real as it's ever been since he got started. So Moses, get ready boy. I'm sending you over to get my people to set the bush on fire. I'll come out the bush, the fire get in the bush, but I'll leave this land and I'll go get my people. I'll go get the people that's in bondage. You'll be surprised that the thousands of people and hundreds of people tonight that's in bondage. I mean, they're in bondage. They're in bondage. They're in Egyptian bondage. They may not be in Egypt, but they're bound with bondage. They're sick, they're afflicted. They're oppressed. They're possessed. They can't get free. The doctors can't free them. Medicine can't cure them. But the Lord Jesus Christ, he's the greatest physician that the world ever knew and ever will knew. His name is Jesus. Clap your hands. I feel victory tonight. <laughs> Moses come out and run into a lot of opposition. And he run into places that over three million people. If I didn't, he couldn't do anything with them. Some of them said, I wish I'd go back to sickness. I wish I'd go back. I wish I was back in Egypt. Some of you tonight that gets in the place that you want to go back to Egypt, you've lost victory in God. You've lost your victory in Jesus. you got to love Canaan. you got to love the Lord. you got to love him with all your heart, your mind, your soul, your strength. If you want to be delivered tonight, you got to come out of bondage. You can't stay in bondage and be delivered. you got to give it a permanent wave and say, I'm going with Jesus. I'm leaving Egyptian bondage. I'm going to a land that's a flowing with milk and honey. Come on tonight. There's a place, that, oh glory, you can cross over to the other side. Praise God. 
in the name of Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost in a supernatural, a special way. It's a different way. And I feel God fixing to start performing miracles a little early in the service. I feel it getting in my hands. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Said Moses, hallelujah. I want you to go pick out the spot. I'm going to let you view the promised land. And I'm going to let you see the winding Jordan. But I'm not going to let you cross over. She said, you know, during them 40 years from the age of 80, some of you get 80 years old, you want to think that your days are over. Maybe you're over the hill. You know, the devil will tell you you're over the hill because you're 80 years old. As I was teaching this morning, Methuselah, I'll call check on his record when he says you're fixing to die on the account of your age. He's lying through his teeth. Methuselah reached 969 years old. Hallelujah. Boy, that's not yesterday. How many believe that? I can look at Adam, 950 years old. That's getting up in age pretty well. How many believe that? And because you get to be 40, 50, 60, 70, you just think your time has come. It's not come. According to thy faith, so it be unto thee. Yours ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what's got everything to do with it? God gives and God takes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you're not going until your time come. You're going to cock in and you're going to cock out. And God holds the keys to death and hell and said, I'll give them to you. I'll give you, I'll give give you power over death, grave, and hell. I got the victory tonight. I got the victory. Clap your hands. You can't be weak and go where I'm talking on going tonight. You got to be strong in the Lord. Not go down just to get a healing. Don't come here just to get a miracle. Oh, they gathered together to Jesus for miracles. They, they wanted the loaves. They wanted the bread. But they didn't want to live for God. You're going to live for God if you get healed. Oh, he going to say, go and sin no more. Quit your sinning. Go to church, get saved, get healed. Oh, go. healing is the children's bread. If you want to come tonight, you come to Jesus. He that cometh into me, I will in no wise cast out, and I'll be your physician. I'll be your healer. I'll be your savior. I'll be your king of kings. I'll be your Lord of lords. Clap your hands. My God, I feel fire in the tabernacle tonight, and I feel the Shekinah glory reaching over this place that a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day and he's Jehovah Jireh he'll heal your body tonight he'll save your soul he'll forgive you your sins let me tell you everyone that come to Jesus got delivered now Moses get ready you've been through problems you've had problems you've had problems from the time that Pharaoh wanted to get rid of you destroy you but I brought you out of bondage. You went and got my people and brought them out of bondage. When you get healed, you're going to want to get somebody else healed. When you get saved, you're going to want to go get somebody else saved. Hallelujah. The mighty hand of God is given. And God gave his only son. God loved the world so much. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16. John 3.17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might, might be saved. Come on, saints of God. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. And I'm going to preach deliverance upon you. Moses, come on out of there. Moses. Moses, God threw t a ten plagues upon Pharaoh, and Pharaoh I couldn't quote with him. He couldn't handle him. And God said, Moses, let God people go. I'm here crying tonight, devil. Get your hands out. Open the church and let God people go. Let us get out of here. Let us get healed. Let us get set free. In the name of Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the mighty working power of the Holy Ghost tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody called me the other day and said, Moses was the greatest prophet that ever lived. I said, but did he ever get anybody healed? I said, he got his own sister healed. Hallelujah. His own sister rose up again him 
one time on account of a, some kind of a marriage he got mixed up in. And she rose up against him, and she become to be a leper. His own kinfolks in his own family rose up against him. Oh, glory to God. Listen to me tonight. Sometimes you have more problems in your own family, your own bloodline. Jesus came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as he received, gave he them the power, the power to become the sons of God. We are heirs of God. We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ and my father owned the cattle of a thousand hills and anything I need tonight all I got to do is ask him and God will fly it into me he flew it, in, he flew it into Moses he flew it into Elijah he flew it into Elisha he fly it in to Jimmy Dobbs clap your hand tonight am I preaching tonight this is gospel glory 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 so Moses loved her good enough. Most kin folks would have said, just pass it by. She's getting what she deserved. He didn't do that. He loved her. He said, we're going to stop the camp. We're not marching on another day until I get my sister healed. I've got to get her healed of leprosy. There's, listen to me. Stick to me close. There's no cure for leprosy. And I'm going to be frankly tonight. There's no sure cure for nothing. There's no sure cure. Doctors don't even have a cure for a cold. They don't even have a remedy for a cold. They cannot cure the flu. They can't cure a cold. They ain't got no sure cure. But there's one above tonight. By 39 stripes upon his back, he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. And a, ch a chastised men of our peace is upon him. And by his stripes and with his stripes, I'm healed. And the Shekinah glory will walk the aisle. Touch me on my fevered brow. When the doctors have closed the door, he's a Nazarene. It'll walk through the doors and come into the intensive care into a dying room where there's no hope that Nazarene can and that Nazarene will clap your hands I feel victory tonight I feel victory tonight oh glory to God I feel victory tonight hallelujah you know I was out to one of the emergency rooms the other night, and a little black sister looked over at me and seen me. And she come over to the table where me and some men, some more of us sitting outside of the emergency room. And she said, hey, Brother Dobbs. I said, yeah. She said, you remember me? I said, I can never forget you. She said, you're the man. They prayed 16 years for my husband, and I called you every day, every day for 16 years, and said, never could I distinguish it in the tone of your voice that my call was unwelcome. You always welcome my call and said, you prayed every day for 16 years for my husband until said, we prayed him down on the bed of affliction. Said, we put him there and said, he was loose as a goose. He was a road runner and said he couldn't keep him home. But said, when we prayed him down, I was going to a church and said that uh, the people over there didn't treat me good because I was poor. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus said, blessed be the poor. They got the gospel preached to them. Oh boy, that sophisticated, aristocratic crowd, they don't want the gospel. They won't have it, but the poor people will take the gospel. They want the gospel. How many love the Lord tonight? How many love him? And she said, you know what? She said, my house started leaking and said, you prayed for my husband. And she said, he had a stroke. And she said, he's all twisted up. But she said, you prayed life back in him. And God healed him and raised him up. And said, he, he went climbing up that ladder kind of one-sided. Couldn't get up there straight because he was twisted from that stroke. But said, his hand was just straight enough to nail that nail down on them shingles. But said, God healed him and raised him up. Hallelujah. And said, I was going to that old dead church and said, I wanted to get out of it so bad. I said, I ain't going back. God said, yes, you are. You're going back. He said, God, I ain't going back. She said, hey. God said, yes, you are. She said, I never had over 
that little thin dime to give per week. I didn't have no money. And so they had to scrape it up good to get hold of that dime. And it said it got so bad in the church uh, until everybody wouldn't shake my hand because I was poor. Hallelujah to God. That ain't got nothing to do. Let me tell you people something tonight. If they're wearing overhauls and they're wearing uh, a jean breeches and they got a rip in them. I told, of course, in my time, when they got a rip in them, uh, you throw them away or cut the knees off or something. But nowadays, they, they pay twice as much for them that's been bleached out, got bleach spots on them, and, and, and got a rip in the britches. They, they pay twice as much. But thank God, we throw them away. They were wore out in our day. Now they're up to date. Let me tell you people something tonight. Hallelujah. You ain't no better than nobody. If you're black, you ain't no better than the whites. If you're white, you ain't no better than the blacks. God got what? A God is colorblind. God is colorblind. I'm going to preach it to you tonight. We're headed out. We got to lead you out. I've not come after a certain race of people. I've come after God's people. You're born again, saved. Got your name in the Lamb's book of life. Oh, glory, glory. Glory, glory. You know what she said? She said, I happened to run into God bless me, and I got a notice through the mail that I'd be receiving sixty-seven thousand dollars. Said from Uncle Sam, some bank money. Some way said I never could find out what it come from, what it come for. But said I didn't reject it. Said I accepted sixty-seven thousand dollars. And said nobody knew it. Didn't tell nobody. And said one day, short after this, the preacher got up one morning and made the statement. We got to have four hundred and fifty dollars, and said the preacher got where he wouldn't even shake my hand because I only had that little thin dime to put into the offering. But said here I was that past week receive sixty seven thousand dollars, and said he didn't know it. He stood up and said, "Look like we're going to lose the church if we don't get four hundred and fifty dollars. We got to have four hundred and fifty dollars this morning to meet the payment." And said nobody rise up. Said nobody stand up. And said I, I told him God they mistreated me so here until. Said, I ain't gonna stand up. God said, You gonna stand up. You gonna be the one stand up. You gonna stand up. Honey, when you've been mistreated and you've been abused, maybe by a member of the family, the husband or the wife, or some of the children, stand up for God. They may have uh, not spoke to you at the church house, but thank God, hug their necks and give them a neck hugging. There'll come a time that God will bless you, or God will raise you up, and God will send you on your journey a blessed of the Lord. Honey, if I can just touch the hem of that garment uh, and get that Nazarene uh, to walk that aisle and touch me on my brow. I know I'm healed. Uh, I'm delivered. Uh, I don't care what the world says. Clap your hand tonight and let me shout. She said, finally, I jumped up and said, I'll give the $450. And said, everybody got the elbow on one another. And said the preacher, even said, are you sure of this? She said, no, I'm positive. I've got it. He said, you got $450? She said, yeah. He said, where did you get it? She said, that ain't none of your business. Said the Lord, give it to me. The Lord give it to me. When God gets ready to send it into you, He said it. He He flew it into Moses. He fl flew it into Elijah. He flew it into Elisha. He fly it into me. He fly it into you. Jehovah God is still God. Don't doubt God. God's real tonight. If He ever healed, He's still a healer tonight. If He ever delivered, He's still a deliver tonight. Clap your hands. I, I feel the victory. She said, I wore the same dress every service for years. She said, everybody look at me and look off. But said, I went down and started me a wardrobe. He said, I got to buying dresses, 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 dresses. I got some of all colors. Hallelujah. She said, I had $67,000. Honey, that's a camp meeting. 
How many believe that tonight? You may be broke tonight, but you can be a multi-millionaire tomorrow. God's able. God ain't broke. He can fly it into you. How many believe this tonight? She said, what made my hair get wavy and stand up at one another? She said, I got 16 brand new pair of shoes that my feet ain't never went in. She said, I got 16 brand new pair that I've never worn. And said, I feel my closets up, uh, 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 oh, dresses, uh, uh, and I got to hanging them on the door. And said, I got so many, I dread to go try to pull out one to go to church. Oh, they're all pretty. They're all pretty. When God gets ready to do something tonight, honey, he can move in your life. He can take a, a poor boy and make a rich boy out of him. He can take a sick man and heal him and raise him up. Let me preach to you people tonight. Oh, God's God, and God can do anything. And all things are possible to him that believe that. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They'll cast out devils. They'll heal the sick. They'll cleanse the lepers. They'll raise the dead. Would you raise up and clap your hands? I'm preaching victory tonight. Saints, God can multiply your blessings. Hallelujah. I've seen them that was rich become poor. And I've seen the poor become rich. And I've seen the, them that was well get sick. And I've seen them that was sick get well. It's God that gives you power to have wealth. It's God that gives you power to have health. Your color ain't got nothing to do with it in heaven tonight. How many believe this? That Nazarene, hallelujah, stopped a funeral procession going out the city of Nain and looked over there and seen the mother following that corpse crying. That was her only son. He stopped it and totally hit them boys that was carrying them stretchers on their shoulders and said, don't make another step. Said, I, I, hallelujah, I'm a blind eye opener. I'm a lame leg healer. I am a leper cleanser. I am a dead man raiser. I'm a gospel preacher. I'm the great I am. I'm the bright morning star. I'm the wonderful counselor. I'm the almighty God. I'm the prince of peace. I'm the everlasting father. I'm the alpha. I'm the amigo. I'm the beginning. I'm the ending. I'm the first. I'm the last. I'm a Nazarite and I'm able to do what I said I can do. I'll heal your body. I'll raise you up and stretch forth my hand and divide your waters. I'll bring down your walls. I'll kill your giants. I'll stop the sun. I can stop the moon but I can turn it back on. I'll cleave a holler in the rock and let you drink. Clap your hands. I feel the victory. I'm preaching here tonight. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. But there come a time that God buried Moses and God preached his funeral. You may not want to believe none of this, but I've got scripture upon it. God had angels to be the pallbearers. Hallelujah. But that's not over. I'm not preaching dying tonight. I'm preaching living. I'm preaching being born again. I'm preaching being saved. I'm preaching being healed. I'm preaching going on with God. And let me tell you something. Because of doctors, if you view an incurable disease and five or six or seven of them specialists has diagnosed the case and sent you away home to die, you ain't got to die. Jesus said, he that be with upon me shall never die, never die. Though he were dead, yet shall he live again. And he that be with upon me shall never, never die. You can't die because you got born again out of one body into another body. And hallelujah, and God's going to take that old body that was laid and hold and with it and raise it up and God's going to create a new man and a man is a wheel in a wheel and God's going to get you going when you're stranded tonight and you say I ain't got but so many weeks I ain't got but so many hours you got the years you ain't got weeks you ain't got months you got years oh oh glory to God let God give them to you God gives and God takes blessed be the name of the Lord ain't that wonderful tonight now God buried him. Angels was his pallbearers, and God done the preaching. 
But that's not the end of him. That's the 34th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy. You go with me to the 17th chapter of the book of Matthew tonight, and you'll find that some way, somehow, that's God's business. He took him and resurrected him without a resurrection, raised him up, and took James, Peter, James, and John, Moses, and Elias to the top of the mountain. On well, the day of transfiguration, I've been there to the top of that mountain. I've looked it over, but he had Moses there. He had him there. How did he get from the grave up on top of that mountain? After he, that's God's business. God's got a way healing you tonight. It, pills won't do it. Now you can eat pills. I'm not against pills. I'm not against doctors. I'm not preaching against one. If you are sick and you got a, a, a some incurable disease, you better find you a specialist. If you pray, I, I believe in this first. Go into God. Go into God. Go into God. Go to God. Go to God. Oh, name and dip seven times. Go to God. Go to God. Get dipped. Keep on dipping. Hey, keep on dipping. If you don't get it, you better find your specialist and don't go to a backyard quack. Uh, come on. You need a real doctor. You know who a real physician is? His name is Jesus. Uh, wonderful, almighty God. Uh, he's a healer tonight. He's a physician. He can heal anything. Anything. He can do anything. All things are possible. To him that believe of the oh, hallelujah. Had a lady tell me the other day, my husband been gone said for nearly five months and said, I've not heard from him. Don't know if he's dead or alive. I said, you want to hear from him? She said, I sure do. I want to hear from him. I prayed with her that night. And next morning before six o'clock, she said, he's on my, he's at my door knocking and said, uh, would you let him in or not? I said, are you crazy? Waste my time praying last night. And here we got him knocking on the door this morning. And you don't know where to let him in or not. You ain't got your upstairs. You ain't got your marbles together. You ain't got your act together. How many of you what I'm preaching here tonight? My God, Jehovah God, when I call on your name, answer by fire, answer by fire, answer quick, and I want to soon return. Glory to God. You know I've read, and I've read and reread. But now, Steve was preaching this morning. Elijah got seven miracles. I'm going to be praying for the people in just a few minutes. So don't sit there and look down there like a nose like you ain't going to get healed. Tonight's your night. How many believe this? Say amen. You may have a broken home or, or, or a broken heart. Or, or maybe you're sick with an incurable disease. Sit home tonight. Wave your hand and say, tonight's my night. Every one of you said, tonight's my night. Tonight's my night. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. I've seen him walk through closed doors and go in intensive care where the doctors would give them up to die. I went in there and they say, well, you can go in there and pray if you want to, all you want to, but they're still going to die. I said, look who's talking. God gives and God takes. Let me tell you something. Old Elijah got seven miracles. He got seven miracles. And when he did, old Elisha said, I want a double portion of what you got. I want twice as much you got. He said, that means 14 miracles. And hallelujah. You know what? If you see me when I'm taken away, and old Elisha began looking up, he didn't look down. And the best time to look up is when the doctors walk in the room and tell you you can't make it. You better look up and don't look down. You better not leave the church. You better find the church. You better find your prophet. You better find your man of God that can pray the prayer of faith that will save the sick. And the Lord, the Lord will raise them up. Come on tonight. I feel like tonight you're night and I feel like God is going to give you a miracle and Jesus of Nazareth he's alive he's got the keys to death and hell and because I live you live also and the works I do greater a greater work can you do because I go back to the father now clap your hands